really excited. This is kind of the second part of our really awesome pasta, our chickpea, you know, chickpea egg, bit of bicarb stuff that we were playing around with a bit earlier. So now what I've done is I've rolled it out. I did that off camera because I'm really bad at that kind of thing. And I'm going to stuff it like a pasty with some really beautiful leftover. I've got some really yummy. It's chicken, goat's feta, a bit of rocket and some tomato. And, you know, the chicken was last night's dinner. So this is all about taking leftovers and turning it into something fantastic. What I love about this is once it's cooked, you can actually take this in your lunchbox. The kids can take it to school. It's pretty fantastic. So let's have a look at how we do it. You ready? Here we go. So what I've done is I've already rolled out these very beautiful, almost perfectly round, you know, this is it. This is the pasta that we were cooking earlier in the water. Now pastry, same thing, just a handful of ingredients. And that's what I really love about my kind of cooking. So in here, right? Really simple, rolled it out. Now, you know, I'm so not good at this kind of stuff, but I don't care. What I'm really good at is eating this kind of really awesome food. So, you know, you work it out, put a bit in there. Now the key to this working is make sure you've got a bit of trusty water and we're just gonna go around the outside. Now, you know, you want this to really stick well together. So I just have, I love these little bottles. This is a really old Pyrex bottle that mums used to feed their babies. Hopefully it was just cow's milk back then, but I think it's kind of formulas and all kinds of stuff now. But this is a beautiful bottle, and as you can see, it's pretty perfect for this kind of stuff. But if you're a bit posh and you've got pastry brushes and whatever, whatever, use that, I don't care. Right, there we go. Now this, this is really easy to work with. I'll turn it around so you can see. That bit of water helps to seal the edges. Then I just get a little bit more water on my fingers like this and I actually roll, can you see, roll and just basically crimp up the edge. And that's all about making sure that all that beautiful filling doesn't ooze out. It makes it a little bit watertight so any liquid that might come out of the cheese or the tomato or anything like that pretty much stays in house. Now, is that the perfect pasty from pasty? Probably not. But is it really bloody yummy? Yes, it is. And how simple and easy is that? I just love it. And you know what? Check it out. Once you've made them, they're just the easiest things to move around. Pop it in a lined oven tray, put it in your oven, 175. If you want to, to keep it nice and soft on the top, you can just put a bit of water. I actually prefer to put a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil on the top of it so you get this really lovely crusty kind of pastry. Um, pop it in the oven, 175 for about 10 minutes, and you can eat this little beauty for the rest of the day, for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast, or whenever you absolutely feel like it. Come back a bit later, and I'll show you just how fantastic these are after they come out of the oven. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, here it is. It's really hot. It's just out of the oven and I'm not kidding. It's super, super hot. Kelly's behind the camera right now <laughs> laughing, <laughs> laughing her you know what's off. Anyway, here it is. Look at that. Holds together really beautifully. It's light. It's fluffy. It's fantastic. It's really hot. So let's go in and have a cut. Ready? Let's have a look at this. Here we go. Awesome. I just want to show you. This is a beautiful pasty filled up with yummy stuff. There's cheese in there. I could have probably filled it up a lot more, but I love it. And what I'm going to do is serve it with a really yummy rocket, goat's feta, avocado, tomato, salt, pepper, lemon juice salad. Look at that. yum Oh, It's pretty hot, but let's have a go. Ready? Oh, hot, hot. But it's really good. See you later. I'm going to eat now.